SoCal Chronicles because he lost the key in uh, well, Riverside. Key, uh, I don't. Did he lose the key? Yeah, I, 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 I he, he beat I'm Hip and Raza in SoCal Chronicles. Right, but I think he beat them in losers because I think he lost round two to Void. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. He did. He did. But anyways, let's yes, go into it. I'm Hip. And Master Mario, the other side of Winter Semis. And uh, like you're saying, you know, I'm Hip, playing this Olimar character who's been uh, looking a lot stronger than he has in his previous iterations of the game. Yeah, definitely. Olimar, one of those characters that got a lot of changes that can be seen as buffs. And honestly, Olimar has always been all around pretty good character. Kind of came out short a little bit in the Smash 4 scene. We didn't see too many Olimars, other than I did the first round. But eventually, you know, they just didn't see enough placings. And honestly, it's not a character you see a lot of places of. But definitely look at the power you see that Olimar has. I'm mean, already taking the first stock within less than 30 seconds. Right, but this is in fact Master Mario, one of the best Marios in SoCal. You know, Master Mario is like one of those players where if he does connect a hit on you, there's no telling how far he's going to take it. Yeah, it's very true. I mean, last week we kind of saw the rise of the underdogs, right? I'm here finally getting that first place at WNF. Master Mario finally beating Zenyu over at Hollywood Action Tuesdays. And of course, right. Nico finally, you know, winning an MSM. It's been quite a powerful week last week, but this week so far the IE is looking to take the charge here. That's right, great paper grab coming out from my Just run Master Mario right up the stage. I like these wall jumps coming out from Master Mario. It does stall his recovery in case on his jump by trying to frame him. But two framing on this stage is actually kind of ridiculous. It's a little, I feel like it's a little weird, but that will not be a two frame. That's a sudden death right there. Oh yeah, and that's what I was talking about earlier. You never know when Master Mario is going to go for that fair. He's going to go for his kill or just go for more damage. Yeah. It's important to keep your opponent in the guessing game, right? Like, you're either going to go for the stock and go for more damage. And Master hit again, goes for the forward, even if it wasn't going to kill. I mean, that's that still was, something. I'm hit with that 28%, so even if that did hit, like, it probably wouldn't have been the stock. Like, yeah. Even then, you know Master Mario would have gone for a second fair. Okay, but I'm hit, closing out that stock. Getting rid of all that rage uh, that Master Mario was building up. Master Mario is showing no fear, running in on his face, continuing his aggression. Um, as soon as two grabs, everybody gets that forward smash at the ledge. I am mean, should have been a little more cautious to recover. I didn't see an opportunity to come back to the ledge. She just gone for the high recovery at that point. I mean, let's be honest. Were you expecting an F smash? I don't think I'm hit was expecting an F no, smash. No, I, I, I don't think so, but hey, man. At this boy isn't, I'd rather play it safe, man. Like you said, this Mario is explosive. Alright, comes in with down air. Gets rid of the Pikmin on the way back down. Slot dodge into the up throw, into up down air. Another great play coming up from Master Mario because he's just looking for percent at this point. Thank you with the up airs and the back airs. Uh, what is this damage coming down from my hit? Already putting Master Mario at 94%. Yeah, it is one thing to note that you know Master Mario is able to come into I'm his range with the Pikmin doing damage over time right there. He's able to finally get one of them away from him. I like that he's trying to understand, like, hey, you know, I don't want these Pikmin on me for as much longer. And every time that I see Master Mario go for a play, he not only gets the Pikmin off of him, but he looks for another opportunity. He tries to go for a tech chase with that forward smash, missing it. And I like that you can tell that Master Mario is actually keeping a close eye on the order of I'm his Pikmin. Whenever we see purple uh, come up next in line, he's throwing out the cape a lot more in case we do see an S smash. He's going to send it right back at I'm Hip, and at this percent, that's going to be a suicide. Yeah. Okay, there's the cape. I like it because he knew he was gonna go for the forward what did smash. I say, what did I say? Looking yeah. for that cape on the F smash because that is in fact enough percent where I'm hit will just kill himself. <laughs> I mean, you said it pretty white, man. I'm How not does it lie. feel? <laughs> <laughs> it, Eat it, this Pikmin! It, it, does, it doesn't feel good, man. You can see it on Ibu's face. He was kind of shocked, and Master Mario gave himself, like, all right, let's get back into this game. And like you said, right, the cape, Master Mario, definitely one of those players that, like you said, he either goes for the kill or goes for the percent, and I'm hit wasn't ready for the kill. I mean, both, both times that... I think every time that Master Mario went for the kill, I'm hit wasn't ready for it. Nah, man. We saw the forward air, we saw an F smash at the ledge, and then the cape coming out, and all three options... Uh, pretty surprising. Yeah, and you're so used to seeing like the control that Olimar is able to establish right over percent over the ground game. But once you see it turned around on, on Olimar, it's kind of pretty tough. The disadvantage doesn't work that well for Olimar. Okay, we do see the parry coming out from my hip. That was something he was making. That was a tool he was using quite a bit in the, the first couple of weeks of Smash Ultimate. But now we're seeing it a little bit less. All right, back air. I like it. Immediately just trying to go for the forward and hit again. Master Mario trying to send I hip a message here. This is my area. This is the long. This is towards the Long Beach area. 
trying right. to make a dominant choice here for my region. Sometimes you just gotta remind them, like, hey, I will throw out this crazy option. You gotta <laughs> respect that. If you don't, you know, you're gonna get caught. Alright. And again, though, Master coming in with the cape. I'm hip. I kinda like that he's a little bit spacing himself just a little bit more. That was not gonna work out well for Master Mario there. I have taken the stock and the lead here. No lie, I saw the fire come out and then like what? the death sparks happened. I wasn't sure who was that. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm with you on that one because I thought it was Mario at that point. Like if that F Master Mario came out that fast, I would have been in shambles. But it was not in fact Master Mario. So I'm hit cleaning out that stock. Now another parry coming out. I'm hit. Oh, trying to whistle through the down air, but you can't whistle that long, Olimar. Okay, the damage and assault continue from I'm him. Like you said, right? Using those wall jumps and mixing up his recovery. He's falling himself just enough, but that forward smash is not going to be enough for stall Master Mario. I'm him in the lead in game two. I feel like we're seeing a different Master Mario. Like, I'm him. Uh, you notice he took a couple seconds, re uh, analyzed game one, and now we see that whenever uh, Master Mario starts to get within a certain distance of him, he's not afraid to swing. Doesn't matter if they're percent. Keeping in mind those crazy situations, even right there, dropping down with fair, even if it was a predicament. Give it grab into down throw. I'm kind of playing the spacing in here. I like I was going for another grab there, but unable to get it because that fireball was going to play. All right, back throw. I'm him tossing the paper for a solid measure. And even though Master Mario was going to try to make the recovery, he took percent and that's up smash. I'm hip taking game two. This is an I'm hip that's not messing around. Yeah, man, he's not playing games anymore. He's like, you can take your, your crazy options and you can keep them because I'm just going to keep you at bay until you come at me. And then I'm going to throw out these strong, quick moves. Yeah. I am making more of a space in gaming game, too. That's kind of something we didn't see much in game one. Uh, but now, of course, the score is now 1-1. One, one. one player will get the set point, and it will be from behind. This is a pretty crucial game here because this either determines the next possible victory or the possible comeback for the other player. But that's how it works out. That's right. More importantly, it's going to determine who's going to have uh, access to their their counterpicks. Yeah. Counterpicks are pretty prominent in this game now, especially with stage choice. Okay, what? Well, Master Mario missing the hang of Ford Smash, and I'm going to take it to town with this percent. Reading the air dodge, man. I'm sorry, was that Olimar? Because that was looking like Cloud. That was looking like Zero. That was looking like any <laughs> other Mad 4 character that could just chain up here. Yeah, man, put him in the sky and put him in the coffin at the same time. And you know what's worse? Is that the entire time he was getting juggled, Master Mario had a white Pikmin on him, which is just even adding on some extra damage. Yeah, speaking of extra damage, that damage is going to convert to a stock. I'm hit with an impressive lead yet again. Master Mario trying to make a statement here for his region, but I'm hit making a statement for his own region as well. That's right, I'm hit, of course, being such a strong player at, the, uh, at these local. Alright, counter match connecting. I like that. We're covering low to the ledge. Not giving uh, Master Mario an opportunity to really do a rising fair or even keep a juggle. Yeah, is that tenor from Master Mario? Not gonna get the kill against I'm hit. He's got 29% to himself. Tries to get the grab there, but misses it coming back with the down air. He's gotta be careful though, he's playing a little bit aggressive here, and like I said, he's gonna fall into I'm hit, but who controls the stage at this point when he's coming out with these aerials. You can see that he's spacing himself really well around Master Mario. Like that, he knows he's gonna come in with the fireball and look for a possible follow-up, but he, and if he spaces himself, he doesn't have much to worry. Right, I'm hip is doing oh, a good job. Oh, out of fuel? No. no. He was, he was uh, stalling out at the bottom just in case he was seeing if Mass Mario was going to try and drop down with a fair or it looks like an aggressive option. Um, he was able to make it back, but then Mass Mario was able to pick up that stock. But wow, 124%. And with uh, the amount of kill power that I'm hip has at the moment, you know it's got to be scary. Yeah, right there, right there. Whistle through the up tilt, clank with up smash, and then guess what? Another up smash. <laughs> I mean, you said it pretty well, man. This is pretty much the uh, pretty terrible trade from Master Mario. It all came down to the whistle. Like I said, the aggressive options are not working as well. They're getting percent, but I'm still with a stock lead. Master Mario needs to tone it down. He does have I'm, I'm at a possible percent. Was able to get that floor smash. Finally, Master Mario narrowing it down to even stocks, only about 29% to his name. Let's see what he can do here. That S smash is looking sillier every time I see it. Just <laughs> no kidding. Someone gets erased. <laughs> Okay, a throw into down air with the uh, new bread and butter for Mario. Now that they've lost their, their up tilt strength of these lower percents. Yeah. 
there. I'll see if I have to not space himself there, but I has been so keen right there. See, every time Master Mario goes for a fireball, he looks for a follow-up. He looks for a possible shield to come back into the zone. I hit this time spacing himself around him because he knows what he's looking at. Alright, oh, just gotta, grab. Gotta That's be, it. Yep, you gotta keep in mind the order of the Pikmin. You can't be checking shields when uh, the blue Pikmin's next. Yeah, exactly. Not only that, you have to understand Olimar's grab range is determined by how many Pikmin he has. So if he has all three, man, that's quite a quite a solid range. Right. Now, Massimara kind of need to tone it down, man. I mean, I, I respect I it. I don't know if that's actually what he needs to do. He just, I mean, he's a, whenever he's uh, gotten ahead in this game against Unhit, or whenever he brought it back, it's because he's played the wild card. Yeah. We just need more wild card. <laughs> wild card Master Mario. I was going to say, maybe the wild card might be the trick, though, but when it comes down to the neutral base player, like right coming in with fireballs looking for a follow up, look at that interaction. Not able to find a victory. I am Hips the one spacing him out here. Not Master Mario, but we'll see how this wild card might be able to play here because he starts off strong off the stage. Z Fly, if you know how to make calls, man, this is going to be quite a call. The wild card is definitely the play when it comes to Master Mario. Uh, unfortunately for him, that fair didn't, didn't uh, take the stock. I was actually expecting another fair uh, uh, from Master Mario. Just to like, show how wild he is in fact. Now we're going back to neutral, neutral based interaction. As you can see, like you were saying earlier, I hit to be the stronger player in neutral. Facing himself. Oh, I like how he's able to shield this time around the cape. <laughs> of course, he has at that point. All right, empty hop, but Master Mario comes in with back air. You know what? With the amount of uh, times that I'm hit out opted to bring up or low, I want to see Master Mario drop down and throw out a back air, throw it at neutral air. Just give him some type of pressure saying you don't get to recover for free. Okay, now dropping down and recovering low on his own turn. Master Mario looking for his way in. I'm him facing out with back here, trying to bait him in to throw out some type of unsafe uh, option. And then each and has to dash for it. Nice, Master Mario looking to finally get that follow up going, and that back air will do it. Tying it up in stocks and send. Master Mario, better player this time around. Now able to finally, like you said, play the wild card a little more often. Couple of others connecting into a wow, but able to whistle through the forward air, or the, yeah, the forward air this time. Wow, nice green grab coming out from Master Mario. Oh. Wild card Master Mario. <laughs> I mean, he's making some pretty crazy plays here. Like I said, though, I'm hip so keen to stop Master Mario from coming in with a fireball follow up, so he knows how to play around that one. But it's Master Mario's progression, his wild card player, right? Like, really going for those things I'm going to be ready for, like in the game one. And him not able to stop. But spot dodge. Well, able to stop Master Mario. Oh, and the spike to boot. Even stocks. No lead for Master Mario. That was complete. Oppression coming out from I'm Pip. Just putting Master Mario in his place saying, you can be wild as you want, but I'm gonna take this stock for I'm gonna take this stock for a full ride. Yeah. I mean, everything it's sometimes you gotta show him who's boss off the stage, especially down throw. Like it waits to do a high option there, doesn't get the forwarder though. Both players trying to edge each other out, trying to see who was uh, who was ready to pull the trigger first. Okay, I'm hip moving into center stage here. I and like it. You know what I like? That he wasn't even trying to pull out his pick. He was getting a lot of mileage off his one purple. And you know what? He knows that's all he needed. But the rising down air, not enough to take the stock just yet. And, ooh, a purple to snipe that out. Ooh, my God. He caped the purple right back with flank with another purple. Now I'm hip. What's, his, what's the after going to be? Oh, oh my oh God. My. <laughs> the spot dodge. He's just trying to get away, but he's finally able to clutch out the forward smash. I'm hip taking it.